Hello my baby gorillas and we're back at the Sheriff Court and we're trying at the High Court. I believe in Mr Murray in his blog today had actually said that he was in court today. So we can get access to the court. Uh, I've not got the NUG number through um, just now so we can't get access. People are banned because of the coronavirus and we can't get access to find out if Mr Murray is in today. Um, for this obviously fabricated, politicised um, requirement by the the, um, the government to actually cl uh, clamp down on Murray for exposing the orchestration of the, the set of false sexual allegations against Alex Salmon allegedly. And we, we have to now find out if Mr Murray, uh, what the, the situation is with Mr Murray, um, should he be in the court today um, or are these just more trumped up charges by the state under Nicola Sturgeon to actually per prosecute and persecute uh, another uh, individual. So I think that Mr Murray was meant to have received the names of the nine people who were the alleged, alleged victims in this. And obviously the government has wanted to clamp down, especially if this is a fake orchestrated attempt at the smearing of Alex Hammond. So Nicola Sturgeon will have wanted to clamp down on any journalist doing their job. And Mr Murray is now in court because obviously of the clamping down um, on uh, the, his rights to be a journalist and uh, his freedom of speech. And we're seeing the disgusting hate speech bills, which I'll get into later on. Um, that are being spoke about in, in court uh, in, on the internet today and I'll go through them later on, I'll go through them with a fine tooth comb and see what Hamza Yusuf, uh, the alleged uh, fascist, is saying uh, uh, to actually prevent people's freedoms of speech in Scotland. So this is just the, the sharp end of a, a huge wedge into freedom of speech by the Islamo-fascist Hamza Yusuf. And obviously Nicola Sturgeon looks like she may, she may actually have criminal charges herself. The Vietnam WhatsApp group um, that was used to orchestrate, the alle allegedly used to orchestrate the fake sexual allegations against uh, Nicola Sturgeon. The King Murray, who is in here, who has now been persecuted for perjury and finding out about uh, in, uh, jigsawing and things like that, the, who the underlying accusers were and the links between the accusers the Crown Office and uh, who were in the WhatsApp, members of the Crown Office were in, or the civil servants were in with the government ministers in the WhatsApp group and the whole thing looks like a huge political chain with multiple people being involved. So this is a, a huge, now they're persecuting journalists to prevent, uh, who Mr Murray came out and actually said that this, these were the people who were involved in uh, he didn't actually say anything, he didn't mention any of the, the names of the, the nine accusers but apparently there, there has now been accusations that there's links to Nicola Sturgeon but from the accusers as well and they were having to be pressurised to give um, testimony against Alex uh, Salmon so there now has to be an investigation into the accusers to find out whether this is a set up and they, if they're perverting the course of justice then they will have to go to jail and that will bring down the whole sorry saga, but there has to be police investigation. Uh, the police have now contacted me, uh, so I can now actually go and speak to the police to find out what their involvement was and find out, what, ask them questions about what they've done and if they've helped orchestrate the setting up along with the, the Crown Office, the civil servants, the, the ministers, the government ministers, and also uh, the, the, the actual people who have accused them. So this looks like a massive conspiracy. The conspiracy is coming out on this Vietnam WhatsApp group. We already know that Nicola Sturgeon has broken the ministerial code by pursuing, a, a, by going against legal advice to pursue Alex Salmon uh, when she knew she couldn't win the actual underlying court battle. So she has now broken the ministerial code and she'll have to resign o on that one basis. She's, she's probably done it in multiple uh, basis, uh, bases, but the fact is that uh, we know for a fact, um, because obviously what was said in the in the uh, the Daily Record the other day and the release of the actual court documents, that she should not have pursued this vendetta against Alex Salmond, who was basically her mentor. 
So I mean, that's the that's the huge news, guys. And um, we don't know if Mr. Murray's in here. We can't get access to it. We can't find out. Um, and they're trying to obviously prevent journalists going in and actually doing their job and actually um, finding out what's happening with Mr. Money. So it was on his blog um, last night, and now we have to find out what the un what has happened to him and the how the persecution of him by Nicola Sturgeon and the SNP have actually spilled over, not just to persecuting of Alex Salmon, uh, but now to persecuting journalists now. This is the this is the end of this whole sorry saga. The, the, the walls are coming in. The whole thing is going to fall down now, because of the the, the expansion of persecution, because of the what Nicola Sturgeon and her husband has done, and the government ministers, and the civil servants, and the crown office, and the police, and the the uh, the nine victims are all going to have to be investigated. We now need a public inquiry, which I'll go into later on. We now need a public inquiry uh, into the whole uh, situation uh, so that we can actually get the facts out. We need lawyers to actually um, speak on the matters uh, and to actually then be able to drill down uh, and actually find out what has uh, been said and what has and has not been said. So we need to actually get a public inquiry and drill down on this where actual lawyers are now investigating it. My baby Grellers, you know I love you.